Hey guys, how are you all? I am back with yet another video and because I don't have enough time or I am not at a right place mentally so I couldn't create new contents and I don't feel like creating new content to be honest. So I am rearranging my shelf and I am gonna do it uh, in front of you all and just telling you about all the books I own personally apart from the home library which I have on the ground floor of my house and yeah if you have been here before welcome back and if you are new welcome this is Mansi from Readers and Creators. I know you must be wondering what I am doing in a messy place like this but uh, apart from my home library which you might have seen in my previous videos I have this tiny bookshelf combine all my study material here in my store to be precise and uh, over time i have purchased these books and i thought like just owning them for me personally it's a bit selfish but then we all are so i thought of rearranging my shelf because i have some books which i have already re read but they are right in front of me and some books which I haven't read and they are behind that. So I have to just rearrange all that. I'm gonna tell you how many books out of these I have read and how many I have yet to read and uh, the plans for further book to view videos I guess. And yeah, without any further ado and without any more brappering, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so firstly I'm gonna show you a little teeny tiny basket which I have created of all my red books. This is this. Ding, ding, ding 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 and I put this sunflower on it to make it a little more prettier and uh, yeah these books are thin and easy read and like general English and review copies so I put them into this because I know I'm not gonna read them again these some acrylic paints I have stolen from my brother because he owns so many expensive things and I couldn't just purchase this because they are like crazily expensive i stole it from him and he is still unaware next is this raspberry flavored candle i got from shelfie book and it smells ecstatic like ah oh, so good and i have used this in many of my bookish photos and this is a cookie box and i have collected oh what it's rusted and it won't open just look at my ignorance of my things Okay, finally, it got all the beads and things I use for photography. Nothing else. A so-called art palette. This is just a crockery plate. And I have an art palette, but I don't use that. I use this. Okay, okay, this is the wooden box I got from Shelfie Book when I ordered my first book box from Shelfie Book. It's a bit uh, complicated to handle because it's like you can just remove all the slides and just keep the notepad together but I like keeping it in a box so I have kept it like that but just let me put it down here table tennis balls which I never play yeah calculator by the amount of dust it has on it <laughs> you can presume I never use it I'm good at maths and lying that is my first bookshelf teeny tiny like me because that's the bookshelf I made out of the cardboard boxes I get from online shopping. So yeah, just let me explore the books. First stack here is too much dust. First stack here is Dan Brown Dister Fortress, beloved by Toni Morrison, and Enduring Life by Ian McWan, The Palace of Illusions. I love this book. And The Sense of Father by Jeffrey Archer. And this is probably by R.K. Narayan because I have covered all the books by R.K. Narayan. Yes, it is The Dark Room. And out of these, I have read The Palace of Legions. I have read Enduring Love. And I have yet to read these three. So I'm gonna just make a different pile of red books and to be read books. This is the Paris Library. I finished recently. That's why it's right in front of this. And you also check out this review. And this is the book sleeve I got from Handivity. And this is so great. It's of cloth and the print is so good and it's reversible and everything. It's got like every feature a book nerd like me wants to have in a book sleeve. So yeah, I'm gonna put it right up on the shelf. These are all my notebooks. I love spiral notebooks. I seriously adore them. And this is one vintage diary I have and I have used it in so many my bookish posts. And people are insane about this. This is like... Uh, so expensive on Amazon, but got it as a gift 
many years ago so i have no idea how much it cost to that person and all these spiral notebooks this is my general and yeah this one is not a spiral but <clears throat> i put wrappers and draw around them yeah call me weird i am and this is brand new i love the cover of this and this is sort of brand new i have written few poems into it okay first two that is the 40 rules of love by alif shafak and milk man by anna bunch it's a booker's prize winner and uh, i read it two years or three years back and i found this good like not so brilliant it's a thing with me i don't generally like books which won prizes so i don't know i might have not reached that level of intellectualism and the 40 of rules of love this is a brilliant book and i recommend this to everyone it's fantastic just read this one to by frederick backman which is a man called of my favorite book from 2020 obviously and this is so 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 great so great of's character is like wow <laughs> and this beer town unfortunately i haven't yet read this so it's going into my tbr next are these two room by emma denard q and all the bright and all the light we cannot see this is a historical fiction and it's a masterpiece really a masterpiece i love this book and i might reread it I, this is a fantastic book i love the mother and son bonding and relationship in this one it's really heartbreaking too but the ending was good so it's a good book and please don't watch its movie adaptation that was not half as good as the book is I next are two by john green the fourteen hour stars you know my obsession with this book right i love this book it's awesome its movie adaptation is good too next is looking for alaska by john green this is a good book too but not as good as this one so yeah i have yet to read turtles all the way down by john green but i i just couldn't buy it i don't know what's stopping me but i couldn't buy it someone please give me next is my collection of classics which i purchased last year when i was in my village during pandemic and i get to know that flipkart is delivering books here and i just did impulsive buying which is not a good thing but i was so desperate for physical copies i was reading digitally so this is all the classics jane austen madame bovary moby dick and um, i love classic literature i am a huge fan of classic but still i have read only two out of this persuasion i started this but couldn't finish this unfortunately sense and sensibility i heard a lot of good things about this but i haven't yet read this i have to read this pride and prejudice wow this is a classic literature a classic love story and i love this book i'm obsessed with mr darcy madame bovary wow it's also a brilliant book brilliant classic and if you have to improve your english if you are into english literature or you have to just improve your english for any competitive exams i suggest this book because um, the vocabulary the words the literature everything is so fine in this thing classics are like that Moby Dick. It's so thick that I just go near it to pick it up and I think, okay, next time. Right now, I might pick up a thin book. So, it keeps delaying and delaying and delaying. So, yeah, these three are going in my TBR. These two are going in my red books. This one. I love this stack. Just look at the color and how good this will look when I arrange when I will arrange this like symmetrical and in those boxes. This is all the books I got this year. A Memory Keeper's Daughter. I read this just last month and it's a good book. This is Veronica Roth Theology. I purchased from Muskan's Unhaul from Instagram. And uh, I have yet to read this. I am thinking of making a reading vlog about this one. So just tell me if you find that interesting just comment down if i should make a reading vlog about reading this duology because this is stolen time and the disappearances these both i got from narita bala that is the memory snappers book unhaul and i am so grateful for her, her unhauls because i purchased like seven or eight books from her only in this year and she just give her books at a very 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 cheap price so i just don't think twice and buy it 
instantly so i got these two and i haven't read these two more. two from memory snappers book on and hall falling into places the blood it fascinated me a lot and this is second life a uh, thriller and uh, i love thrillers although i haven't read much so i got this this is my diary i write down all the quotes i find so good in the books i read this is my tiny box of stationery and most importantly colors i guess all our colors a sketch colors oil pastels acrylic wax pencil and all my stationery stuff like art sheet like drawing sheet like everything and artistic everything creative everything about artist this is a box for bookmarks i made this myself and it is overloaded if i open it now all bookmarks will be like explode so i'm not opening it i will keep this aside let's see here we have a place called here by cecilia aran which i read this year and i found this book very good i've written a long review about this on my instagram this is a bit <laughs> romantic cover i guess this is the shakes virgin princess this is a second hand book i got from some bookstore and i haven't read this yet it's a thin book the secret of nagas and vayuputra meluha trilogies other two books i have read the first book this year and i have yet to read these two lajja bai tasleem anar seen which i decided to read in april but i couldn't sydney sheldon i have read if tomorrow comes a long ago and i got chasing tomorrow the sequel of if tomorrow comes and uh, the types of memory both from nagita's unhaul and uh, this just increases my sydney sheldon collection i love his writing next we have a case of exploding mangoes by mohammad hanif this about this book i have heard a lot robert harris fatherland tbr and sydney sheldon one more sydney sheldon i have here this is memories of midnight this i got in my shelfy book book box and i haven't read this also this is my second tiny tiny bookshelf which i made from yet another cardboard box i got from online shopping and i sprayed it again with golden spray so yeah let's just becoming by michelle obama the finest memoir i ever read and the finest book you should read as a man thinker a non fiction and a bit of self help and a motivational kind of book i don't like that type of journal as much but i have read this one because this is a thin, thin book and uh, yeah i have read this this is bernie nolal's autobiography a memoir basically i love memoirs in non fiction category i am a huge fan of memoirs but i have read, read this one so it's tbr it's read a fine balance by rohinder mistry finest book seriously finest painful intense book but finest book i have read this one the book thief my marcus jensen yet again i think this is great book the book thief a fine balance both read the museum of innocence by arhan pamuk haven't read this yet it's a thick book really thick book i have to be mentally prepared before starting this month so tbr 19 minutes by jodi piclot i have heard a lot about jodi piclot and i got this one book by her i thought let's just first read her works and then get more books but i haven't read this yet it's also a thick book the see the see iris murdock uh, adaptation uh, is made on this i guess i have seen somewhere but uh, i haven't watched this and i will read the book first and after that i will decide if i have to watch the movie adaptation or not the invention of angela carter a biography and i haven't read this yet but it's a beautiful book the girl on the train by paula hawkins obviously i have read this this is a fine thriller and um, don't watch its movie adaptation don't this is the inheritance of loss by kiran desai this is really a great book and i will recommend this the girl in wine cotton by avni doshi it was long listed in uh, jcb prize of literature in 2020 i guess and it's a good book but uh, i don't think it's for everyone only people who can relate with it who have real life experiences only they will like this book because i also have heard many mixed reviews about this book so read the review of this book on my page and then decide if you want to read this one or not i have read both these are all my generals i purchased and i haven't used yet art boxes i keep all the tiny things all the like bookish merchandise and tapes and pencils and uh, everything like fancy here and this holds all my painting collection like watercolors and water brushes and everything this is my thai ka dibba which i get from in diwali 
not I but my family and this holds all the ugh, colors and paints and everything I'm not gonna open it god help me this is a book about history one of my friends got me as a gift from a bookstore near Akshardham in Delhi and it's packed the same since when I got it this is a beautiful book hidden horizons and I am a bit of like explorer and I love history as a sub subject I have chosen history in my academics also so I might read it someday now here we have loss the night circus I have already read these two in 2021 and night circus is probably my first fantasy book and I love this loss is as the name is it's about a uh, grief about loss and it's intense but I loved both books and I have reviewed them on my Instagram so check them to me little book of life which is so beautiful so beautiful I got like so curious to read Rumi after reading the 40 rules of love by Alice Shepard there was a description of Rumi there was poems by Rumi and Rumi was throughout the book and I got so curious to read his words so I purchased this and this is a beautiful book but I haven't yet read this one I'm gonna read this one like genuinely I'm gonna read this one I have two Agatha Christie that is Dumb Witness and Evil Under the Sun and I haven't read any of it this is The Catcher in the Ray by J.D. Selinger it's a good book it's a classic book rather it's a very good book and most importantly for teenagers next is Little Book of Life by Ruskin Bond it's full of all the wisdom quotes or all the quotes Ruskin Bond himself noted down from the books like I do in my diary and this is collection of those things whenever I feel low I just go through this any quote any quote out of these any single quote can just change my mood and it happens next we, we have these two two books which I have finished recently and Oleander Girl by Chitra Banerji Divar Kurni one of my favorite authors but I didn't enjoy this book as much this is till death we do part uh, review copy and uh, I like this book is average for me not so great not so bad it's like yeah easy read next we have the Melua importance of Melua two other books are into my TBR and I have already read this one they both died then I have read this one too this is a good young adult fiction you should read this and this is really a finest mythological book I've read and I'm curious to read other two books also next we have is Mahavir I got from Hatchet it's a good self-help book kind of thing but it gives a lot of knowledge about Jainism this is man's search for meaning which I decided to read in April but couldn't so it's in TBR and the white tiger read this good haven't watched its adaptation and I don't intend to watch Trevor Noah wow this is a great book it's filled with humor and it's so funny you will laugh while reading this so I suggest this to everyone and it gives you it gives you a lot of knowledge about South Africa. So next I have all the Durjoy Datta. I love Durjoy Datta's writing when it comes to Indian authors. Like apart from Arundhati Rai and Kushwan Singh and Raskin Bhawan and R.K. Narayan. If we talk about the like today's generation authors, Ravinder Singh, Durjoy Datta, Chetan Magar, I find Durjoy Datta the finest. But after the prank he and Ravinder Singh pulled in before the launch of Ravinder Singh's book, I couldn't get the name. I just lost almost all the respect for Durjoy Datta and it's so bad but uh, yeah I don't feel any respect towards him although I can't deny that his writing is good and uh, I've read this duology the boy with the broken heart and the boy who loved this is a good book and I think there must be a third book also because the second was like a sort of unfinished. The Last Breath is a good book intense book painful book not a happy ending but good book and I haven't read she broke up but I didn't yet so it's TBR next I have this Oxford dictionary which I keep by my side when I read books and I got this as a birthday gift when I was like 14 or 15 from my maternal uncle so this is a uh, like special to me and it holds sentimental value also apart from the intellectual value which it like obviously have and this will definitely go into my tbr i haven't finished reading this i know lame all the hard covers here and uh, this is greatest bengali stories ever told 
this I got from an offline bookstore and I know the readers should purchase from offline bookstores to like keep them from getting extinct but this cost me a fortune. All these, all these are hardcover. This is undertow, read this one, average. This is uh, The Tree with the Thousand Octal. Yes, I read this like four years back. It's a good book. Literally painful, but good book. Why I'm a Hindu? Ah, love this book. Also reviewed this. Check that out after watching this video. Next three is Half the Night is Gone by Amtab Bakchi. Good book. So many characters, like so many characters. It was confusing, but the story was good. Girl, Woman, Other. Fine book. Really brilliant, fine book. Racism, South Africa, girl, women, patriarchy, everything. Informal stories, good book. And The CPL by Khalid Hussani. It's not like a novel thing. It's a graphic book. Not so much to read into. But it's about refugees and their stories. And I have like every book Khalid Hussani ever wrote. I'm a huge fan of him. So yeah, I have cleared all the shelves. I'm, I'm going to arrange them. TBR like right in front of my eyes and red books can manage in behind and this is the bookshelf i made when i was in 11th standard which is like 80 years or 9 years back and uh, i just like adjusted this in that corner i'm not gonna pull it out i'm just gonna arrange books in that so yeah this is the start i've been creating and this is red one this is my tbr coordination here isn't that nice not bad huh i think i should just make this a little symmetrical or i should just leave it like this because it's too hot in here and i'm getting all sweaty and it's really irritating me so much so i just like conclude this there's too much oh my god there's too much i will do it i'm not panicking <laughs> I have detached the shelfy book box and put it like this because it was taking too much space and I don't need that currently and guess what I found this in the box a thick book a really thick book which I got in the book box and I forget about this total book nerd this is the distant arts by Kate Morton this is a really thick book I will read it someday before dying yeah guys i'm done and i am sweating so profoundly and i'm like just finish this and go run away i feeling like that and uh, so i'm gonna finish it so hurriedly and uh, yeah this is the basket of all the red books on all the general english or the books i don't like that much or the books which doesn't have so typical english writing and i'm gonna give you a tour Okay, so I tried making it a color coordinator type, but uh, that just doesn't happen with me. Rather, this shelves look pretty good, right? Well, these are these books, and these are my notepads, and these are my baby keyrings. Like they are keyrings, they are already tiny. Why I'm calling them baby? <laughs> I have no idea. These are my artist things and yeah just a long shot yep yep that looks nice and this space is so good i'm gonna fill it in like one day with all the miscellaneous things just look at me have some pretty I have some sympathy so i'm gonna just go run away and have a, take a bath and uh, yeah i have done this so i'm so satisfied and happy and i will do all the shelf rearrangement in my home library too one by one and i will make episodes of that so just tell me how many books have you read from this and how many you haven't i will just do a count and tell you how many books i have read and how many there are in my tbr because that gives me a self-satisfaction okay so these are total of 77 books which i managed to adjust in this tiny space well good and i have read 47 books out of this good number i might say and i will like read all of it 
suddenly and yeah you don't have to witness me like that so i'm going just keep reading be happy and i will come with further episodes of shelf free arrangements and yeah be safe bye bye